Recovering Shopaholic in today's 4 eyeshadow tutorials on 4 rosy palettes. Since pink eye seems to be the trend for the past few years, I decided to jump in and provide you with more options. If you recently stumbled upon this channel, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the fun crazy world of the F Mom Shells. This is a channel that started off with beauty and makeup tutorials until I got dragged by my subscribers to do bargain hauling all day long. Let's dive into these looks. This look is made through the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. This is a look that I call soft glam on the eyes and a medium pink on the lips. We're gonna take this shade called Hot Spot and put it all over our lid just to set our concealer. No, it doesn't smell like anything. So there we go, we're just gonna set it all over our eyelids. I personally wish the makeup companies do not put colors like these on eyeshadow palettes. It is such a waste to what it could be, color. But anyway, it's supposed to be soft and sweet and soft-spoken because this is all about the love month. Moving on to the shade called Fields with a Z. Or as Mr. F would say it, with a Z. And we are gonna put that on our Crease as our transition, blowing it up all the way almost to our brow bone. Then we are moving on to the shade called Bing, and we are gonna put that in circular motion. Ooh, Fallout City. And we are gonna put that a little bit lower than the shade called Feels, and this is just gonna be concentrated on our crease. The Fallout is real. Let me see if I can salvage some of that. No wastage in this channel. Moving on to the shade called Devilish. We're gonna mix it in on the outer corner up to the crease. Mixing it in with Bing, but not so high. And now we're gonna do our cut crease with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in shade Light 10. And this is gonna be where I'm gonna need your prayers. Because I need a steady hand and I need to shut my mouth. So I'm gonna put a little indicator there and then look up. There you go, that is where our false eyelid is gonna be. And in case you did not notice, I like doing false eyelids because my Chinese blood came out in my eyes and not my skin. And not my mathematical skills. I'm sorry for racial stereotyping. We shall not talk, we are gonna put nice, cheerful music to go along with this next step. Oh, I can now exhale. Now we're taking the lightest colored shimmer called Big Bang. I bang bang. Bang bang. Bang bang into the roof. And we're gonna place bang bang in the first inner third of our lids. So we're actually gonna extend that more than one third. Two thirds but not really. So half of two thirds. Nahirapan ang sarili. We're moving on to the next shimmer shade called Young Love. Young Love. Who remembers that throwback TV series? Aging, who are you? Okay, we're gonna put that on our next half. Young love, sweet love, who remembers that? Back in the 80s. And finally, we are going into the darkest shimmer called Drunk Dial. And we're gonna put that on the final third of the eye. Gradient effect from fresh cherry to maturing cherry to dead cherry. I think the names have been switched. I mean, Young Love is the darker shimmer suggesting it's a little bit more matured already, you know? While Bang Bang is the lighter shimmer. Before there's Bang Bang, there has to be Young Love first. Urban Decay, come on. You are teaching the wrong sequence of love. First comes Young Love, then Bang Bang into the room. Hmm? But then they got the right name for this darkest shimmer shade correct. It's called Drunk Dial. You will usually drunk dial because of the bang bang. And now we're moving back to the shade called Devilish, mixing it with a dark brown shade called Privacy to create a little bit of a matte effect at the corner of your eye. Moving on to Devilish for the lower lash line. Then back to Bing so we can smudge devilish. Finally, a little privacy on the very corner at the very edge of the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna finish off this look and I'll be right back for a little transformation. So 
So we are moving on to the next look. This is what we call the soft and sweet and easy to do makeup look. Maybe some of you are working mothers who rush home to do a little bit of a fix up before rushing out to date with a hubby. So this is the quick glam that you can do. We are diving right into Rosé in the Air in this transition shade. This cool brown. And we are just gonna put that all over the eyelid, almost up to the brow bone. Then we are diving into this muted pink shade. So we're gonna lay that down on our crease, slightly lower than our transition. So you're focusing that mainly on the crease, not as blown out as your transition shade. Gets? Then we're gonna move into this fuchsia color here. And we are gonna concentrate that on the outer edge and in the outline of the crease. Get half of the way in on the inner crease. And then again on the lid. Then with a small wet brush, we are moving into the champagne shimmer. Without cut creasing, we are just gonna pack it on our inner corner. So the effect of this is like, it's as if you have a cut crease on, but not as sharp and not as draggish. And then to achieve a gradient effect, we are moving into the other shimmer of the palette, which is this. I can't really describe what it is. Um, I guess it's uh, like a bruised pink. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just stick with the method. Duh, Mrs. F. We are just gonna place that on the second half of our inner crease so that we can have like a fading or a gradient effect to the matte pink that's waiting for it at the end. And we are moving back in with the fuchsia pink with the intense pink shade, the pop of pink here. And we are just going to reapply the color on the outer edge. Remember Charlotte, this is supposed to be soft. Stop it already, stop it. Then we're gonna work with our lower lash line with this brown matte shade. And we are gonna put that as near to the lash line as possible. Then we're just gonna smudge that out to soften it up a little. There you go, that's our smoky but natural eyeshadow look done. I will just continue the rest of the face and I'll see you back for the final look. Let's move on to the next look. Bold eyes, bold lips, bold star. Look, moving on to our Jaclyn Hill, ring the alarm. I've been going too long. I'll be damned if you didn't know the chicken design. We are gonna get literal and start off with this red cherry shimmer shade called Bomb Ass. Just like this video, it's gonna be Bomb Ass. We're gonna go dive right in there. And that's pigmented. By the way, it's pigmented, not pigmented. English pronunciation with Mrs. F. 101 because so many beauty gurus say it's pigmented it's a pigment not a pigment so it's pigmented and we are going to achieve a sunset look well that is the plan as to the outcome is soon to be revealed after we have laid the bomb mask we are moving on to the shade called alert and we are going to go from the outer rim of that crease where the red cherry ended, and we're gonna smoke it up. Then, in a smaller, fluffy brush, we're moving on to the shade called Rush. And we are gonna take that on the last shade, which was Alert, like a gradient sunset scenario. Easy peasy. So there you go. There are three shades bomb ass on this red cherry thing. Then came alert. Then came rush. Boom. Then we're going in with a shade called framed. And we are focusing that on the outer edge of our eye. We're going to bruise the cherry a little with that touch of purple. There you go. Easiest eyeshadow look ever. Then we're going to go back to the bruised purple shade again. And we are going to smoke that out underneath our lash line. Just when you thought I couldn't possibly put anything anymore underneath that, we are gonna go in with a shade called Rush and we're gonna blow it out after the bruised purple. This can also double as Halloween makeup. We are gonna go in with a shade called On Camera, this shimmer gold shade. There you go, that pop of yellow shimmer and the inner tear duct. There you go, that's our eyeshadow look done. We are just gonna put a little bit of highlighter on the brow bones, some winged eyeliner, lashes, and mascara in the works, and we're gonna be right back. I 
I hope you enjoyed this one. Let's move on to the next look. This final look is a halo smoky eye using the modern renaissance palette with my renaissance inspired top. We first go in with burnt orange. And we're gonna use a fluffy brush so we can blow that out almost up to the brow bone. That's always how my spiel starts. Always blowing it up, up to the brow bone. Then we are moving into that brickish orange shade called Real Gar. I wonder what they mean by that. And then we're gonna focus that on the crease and on the inner corner. In a half moon, in a full moon, half moon, what do you call this moon shape? In this shape, this thing. Then with a the smaller brush, we are moving in with a shade called Love Letter. Focus that on the outer edges of our lids, up to a little C, and also the inner edge to a little C. Because we're doing a halo eye, so the shimmer will be in the center of the lid. Then with a teeny tiny brush, we are going in for the smoky kill. We are going in with a matte brown shade. And that teeny tiny shade is just gonna go tickle the edges of that. Like tickle, tickle, tickle. And also here, tickle, tickle, tickle. And it's time for us to challenge ourselves once again with concealer on the eyelid. Everybody hold your breath. Then we're gonna find our eyeball and put that where it is. And drag it up, drag it down. Extend the top part a little bit. So the shape is like a fat letter T or a mushroom. Then with a tiny wet brush, we are moving into that shade called Vermeer. Vermeer, which is super, super light pink. And you're gonna put that right smack in the center. I can see my halo, halo, halo. Quiet, Carlota. Don't ruin it now. There you go, our shimmer shade is laid out like a halo. And of course, it looks stupid right now, but we are not done. With a teeny tiny dry brush now, we are moving back into Real Gar. And we are going to retouch it on the edges of our halo. We are now going to intensify the rosiness of the look by working on this pink love letter on our lower lash line, nearest to our lashes. Then taking the shade called Burnt Orange to buff out that pink on the lash line. It looks crazy beside the other eye. It's Valentine's after all. Love can make you crazy. I am not satisfied with the smokiness of this look so I'm gonna take more of the brown shade and line it under my lower lash line. Just on the very edges. So there you go. That is our crazy Terminator eyeshadow look done. We're gonna be back after this thing has looked human again. That is the last look. It's a wrap. There you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed those looks and I hope it inspired you to create some magic in your eyes before some special occasion. Before you go, I hope you hit the subscribe, bell, share, like, all of the buttons that you can find down there so you don't miss out on these four look makeup tutorials. Thank you, everybody, for watching and don't forget to spread the love everywhere you go. Happy Valentine's Day, Merry Christmas, or Happy Chinese New Year. So while everybody else is busy preparing for their Valentine's makeup tutorial, I'm busy preparing for four Valentine's makeup tutorials that only 1% of my subscribers will watch. I know you, Tai Tai Addicts. So I'm bringing this out in a cliche manner before Valentine's Day, just in case you are the very... Young love... Oy. I dipped into the wrong pan. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, Welcome, everybody. I started off. Oh my goodness, there's no microphone. Ah! So, this is the quick clam. 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 Lobster. Clams. Peach. Then, on a smaller fluffy brush. Brush. Then, on a smaller fluffy brush. Then, we are. <laughs> Damn, because it's fluffy brush and a shade called rush. Then, on a smaller fluffy bl blush. Ah! And we are gonna put that on our tear jock for the pop of gold shade which does not show right now because this has Bruce Cherry in the hand of the fans mo hello <laughs> but here one of valentines happy valentine eh what kagala pilit mo kayo 
Grabe na siya. Dali, ako rin nagmamadali ako. Hello. Mag-hi ka naman. Hello. Oh. <laughs> so, mo, happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's, many bride, everybody. 